everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Tries Death and Taxes. I've done the second. I think we're gonna hold off on the first for as long as possible. This just came out on Steam. I did receive a code from the developer slash publisher. Thank you for that. The way I understand it, this is a narrative adventure where you play as death or a, a worker in the death economy. You decide who lives, who dies, or who goes up above and who goes down below, if you know what I mean. It looks like it has almost like a Reigns meets Papers, Please sort of style to it. Um, and I'm looking forward to, to checking it out. I dare not. I dare not skip the intro. Fate. The Keeper of the World Order. Ah, we, he's missing the lemons, dude. Where's the lemons? Have you checked uh, your bow tie? He leaves his domicile. Records the sixth best Beatles album. He's buying some citrus. Excuse me, sir. Uh-oh. He sees Brimstone. He walks home. He performs an occult ritual. A skull arises. The Grim Reaper, you! Okay. Um, I gotta be honest, you kinda nailed it. Right off the bat. I think, uh, I think that's me, dude. No, it, you know what? I like that. Give me that. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife? Yes. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. Yo, look at the paws on that cat. What a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number. Eight, eight. Yo, Eric Lindros. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Where am I? What Straight is this? To the point. Great. You are in my office, here to work as a grim reaper. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision Four, the Sun County Wine Region. Yo, Napa. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? Okay, you've, you've <laughs> said yes, enough, you. okay, whatever you Didn't say, I boss. Know. Let's go. Remember, I appreciate the voice work, but at the same time, I'm ready to do some bureaucracy. It's what I was what I was made for. Your actions will have consequences. I will show you your one more thing. This will be your seven day evaluation period. You bring me into this world, you put me on occupational probation. You're gonna be hearing from the Bureau of Labor. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. All right. Deus ex... Excuse me. Deus fax machina. I get it. I still need to mark some of the profiles before I end my shift. For Grim. Here are the five... Oh, hold on. I think maybe I should lower myself? Maybe put myself down in this general region right here? Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I'm granting you time to settle in, so no difficult rules for today. Quota for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you've made the decision. Excuse me. My phone is, uh... It's not working. There's no signal down here. Alright, let's look at these. Melta, Melita Vanderpool, 32, mathematics teacher. Melita's doctoral thesis was about calculating parameters around conflict situations. Afterwards, they decided to put that research to the test in a rough environment. School. They're into skiing and crafting little paper versions of fractals, like the Menger sponge. Kyo Akihito. Kiyo has lived in four different countries, finally setting down in the Sun County wine region, where they now work as a viticulturalist. Viticulturist? They enjoy fast food, cooking, and horse riding, and have seven grandchildren who visit often. Yet, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're putting me in a tough spot, dude. <laughs> um, normally, I would be like, hey, you're 62, but you do have the grandchildren, but I have to say, just, just on age, 
I hate to say it. Kyo Akihito, I hope you've lived a good life. And uh, Melita Vanderpool, for now, you get to live. You know, you're you're a little bit on the younger side. Only one year older than myself. I want to confirm my choices. I apologize, somebody's going to be upset at every single one of these. The Grim Office. Oh. All the way down, please. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Excuse me? Quartermaster's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The uh, boss, you have a pirate in your building? I have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster. Look more like a loony master. All right. Never heard of you before. You, yes. I once scoured many sea and land. Alleviating merchants. The music the slaps, Florida. though. Excess wealth. Cool. I, the Emporium brims with plunder. I plundered myself. Browse at your will. All right, but I have no money. Grim Cape. It's a, uh, an outfit. This is a snow globe. A coin. Can't. I'm sorry. I can't afford it. It's is is unaffordable. Oh. Feel, please. All right, what, what about one of these? Perhaps we could get out at, at this floor? Nope. Perhaps we could get out on this floor? Perhaps we could get out on this floor. Perhaps we can go straight to the freaking moon and get out on this floor? Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. My day was really good, honestly. We are Remember, I see exactly one person perished today. As task. Did you figure out the best choice? That's not for me to say, but let's say I did. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. Uh, so did you? I mean, 62 still seems pretty young to me, but... <laughs> I find none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable... I'm ready for anything. Eye, okay. A new day awaits. Send me. I, re I appreciate you trying to get a story going here. However, at the same time, I'm like, nah, 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 nah. End the day, yes. I'm like, just give me those sweet, sweet mechanics, dude. Take me to the office. Read this. I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them, and you will be okay. I am handing you another simple task. One human with an industrial or engineering background has to die. Teacher uses clever mathematics to resolve conflicts with modest results. Death of viticulturalist drastically lowers the overall quality of wines from Sun County. Whoops. Okay. Someone with an industrial or engineering background has to die. Constructs buildings. Engineer. Waiter. Alright, so I'm not going to worry about you. One of you has to die. Trying to figure out new experimental ways of making power generation more efficient. They also love flying kites and playing with their dog. They try their best to manage the balance between the demands of the clients and the experimental ideas of architects. I'm sorry, Sifiso Eke. Whoops. <laughs> I meant to... I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry, madam. Uh, I misclicked. Very sorry about that one. I, your work in uh, renewable energy, to be honest with you, made me uh, made me want to keep you alive. I didn't want to kill anybody. I was forced to. Um, however, my uh, my misclick has cost me my moral way. Grim, it gladdens me to hear that. I get a lot of pleasure so, from my work. Did you? Great. Yes. Everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. great. Indeed. Rest well. The cat purrs softly. I will say we got to try something on day two, uh, day three here. Okay, what are we gonna try on day three? We're gonna try breaking a rule and seeing what happens. Two humans have to die. You ought to know the drill by now. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles. 
Um, engineers find nigh indecipherable design documents after death of colleague. Local waiter wins international lying contest. All right. Two humans have to die. Let, you know what? Here's my idea. Timothy, guess what? You all get to be the benefactors of one day's civil disobedience. Today, I'm not taking anybody out. Everybody gets to live. And then, check these. What are you going to do? I want to confirm my choices. Let's see, what are you going to do? You know, boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I break the rules on company time. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandise. Sure, but we still have no money. So I will just be leaving, sir. I have not earned a paycheck yet. I bet we... Never forget, no matter what I do, I saved five lives today. Or at least three lives. Really? My latest spawn. Good. Now, let me let take a look, me look at the files you sent in today. What is this? Okay, you cannot let everybody live. You are not thinking of the consequences. This is no idle warning. We clear? The reprimand has been. Marked. Oh no, my permanent record. Oh, thank you for reminding. Ah, I was supposed to get paid this yes. whole time. Worry not. Let's go. Every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Errors mean you get no money. Okay. Well, this is a good day to mess around then. Okay. Can I have my money, please? I, I would like to purchase a snow globe from this strange pirate. Eight hundred. 1800. Oh, baby, unholy smokes. A visage which is equal parts bold, gruff, smooth, and cool. No, I'm sorry that I cannot, uh, I cannot do that. I do not wish to experience that. What I wish to experience instead is a snow globe for my desk to mitigate the drudgery. Ooh. Yo, the coin flip to decide who lives and who dies. All right. Have you looked outside today? Three humans have to die. Any younger humans have to die. Yikes. I like it. I haven't seen anybody under the age of 18 so far. Nobody's willing to do that. Philip is a very random guy, meaning they enjoy chaotic and odd behavior. I guess I'll just kill this random guy. Random! How about you? 42? Essie Kolovinen? Professional project advisor, also known as a consultant. They get paid inordinate amounts of money for consultations, which are vague events where they tell companies to do things. When not working, they love tea, cross-stitching, and smashing the patriarchy. You get to live. We could use more consultants in this world. Alejandro Garcia, digital sports commentator! He's well regarded due to his mesmerizing voice, quick wit, and hot, some say spicy takes. They also express themselves through cosplaying their favorite video game character and television show characters. I was about to say it's me until I saw Alejandro is addicted to painkillers. I did take two Tylenol today. I apologize, Mom. It's... they got me wildin'. Uh... I did, hold on, are you younger? Three humans have to die? I'm sorry. Oh, wait, 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 we got you still. 23? 32? 30? You're lucky. You're lucky you were born when you were, Alejandro. Keep up the great work. Poggers, please. Can we get some Pog champs in chat for uh, our digital sports commentator who's going to continue to live? Melina Altamira. Melina is stuck right in the middle of a taxi mafia turf war. I hate to say it, but basically I have to uh, pretty much murder... Well, not murder, but decide. Ooh, anti-vaxxer. Well, can we give her perhaps some kind of ironic death, like tuberculosis? No? NL, that's too spicy for YouTube. Stop, you're gonna get in trouble. I got a killer up inside of me. I can't talk to my mama, so I talk to my video diary. 
All right, take me down here. Oh, no, no, take me up here. Let's see. Did we get our payment? We'll go to the store. Grim, all the perfect. Oh, yes. You, you made an error with my test note? I do not fully what are you talking about? You anyway, I'm sorry. Apparently, I've made a mistake. Uh, it was not my intention. I was trying to actually... I was trying to fulfill my role in this organization. Did I leave somebody else alive that should have been... I don't know what younger means, dude. It is but a mundane day. Nothing out of the ordinary. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a food service background. Oh, we can store the garbage. Get out of here. I'm working. Sommelier. Guess what? Food service background. Tommy Wiseau. You can live. Pharmacist. How many humans need to die? Two. You... Enter reserve judgment. Aqua farmer. Reserve judgment. Tane Reed. Now Tane, I can get into. Bartender. Congratulations. You have just completed a great game. Gabriel de la Corsa. Kitchen manager. Guess what? You live. All right. So three humans have to die, or two humans have to die? Two humans have to die. So one of you gets to be saved. I'm scared of the kind of person who loves playing this game. <laughs> I don't like having this much power. This much power makes me very uncomfortable. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. I'm not used to having a lot of weight on my head because, of, you know... <laughs> he bald. Um... Anyway. Who gets to live? They work as a valet. Once they were the suspect of a gruesome murder, although it was impossible for them to be the murderer. Okay, I can't hold that against you. They've never really been interested in fish and crustacean aquaculture. They keep their attention on seaweed. Okay, maybe this is a joke related to another media property I'm not familiar with. Gordon got through medical college mostly by cheating. Sorry, brother. You're definitely uh, busted here. And then one of you has to die as well. Honestly... It's something about your face, sir. It's not your fault, okay? It's not your fault, but... Just something about your face has got me... Got me freaking out a little here. Today... I did a good job. Now daddy's gonna give me my allowance. Guaranteed. What a day. Good. I see. The I got to I want to get through the first week quickly and see where the game blossoms from here. Anyway, Bruce, let's go. 5 days, is it? But think of Do you think our office is appropriate? Oh, sure, why not? This control over all the lives. Can't worry too much if this is what has to be done. It, uh, I do apologize. Are there any questions you'd like to ask me? Not really. Sorry, I'm just being honest, brother. I I get a thrill from the job and the 300 Excuse me, sir. 300? This this job necessitates more than that. So let's do two more days minimum so we can get out of the tutorial and then we'll figure out uh, how it goes from there. Six humans have to die. Any humans with a law or criminal background have to die. Oh my god. Poultry farmer. Petty thief. Very sorry. Secretary. I'm gonna leave you for now. I might not I might have to kill somebody not involved in the law industry, I just realized. Housekeeper, we're keeping you in the maybe pile. Police officer that is in the law background. I'm sorry, Joanna. Nothing personnel kid. A poacher. I mean, in my world, poacher is criminal. If it wasn't criminal, they would just be called a Hunter. Rock musician. Many chunky riffs. <laughs> and... Social worker. Six humans have to die? Only one of these individuals gets to live? Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. 
we're gonna solve it by coin flips, okay? If we're gonna start from the left. If you get a death, you die. If you get a live, you move on. How do we know? Why does why does it say death? Like, does this have another side? Is the okay? So live is a hundred, and death is skull. Okay, so now here we go. I just wanted to make sure it was fair, Maria. You live for now. Get in the live drawer with my cellular phone, Jacob. Get in the live drawer. It's not saving me. Somebody's got to go at some point. Ashwarya, I'm sorry. Just the way the cookie crumbles. And Lee. Also gotta go. My apologies. The the whims of fate are cruel. Maria. Now this time, if you get a live, you live. The other person dies. Otherwise, you die. Congrats, Maria. You've made it. And congrats me. Because I don't get in trouble with my boss. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. It's as fair as fair gets. So we're just gonna we're gonna skip through a little dialogue here to go a little faster. I apologize. I was built for dark times. Any idea what happened today? Don't really care. Death is death. Off you go. Good night. I like this game. And you've heard me if you watch Northern Lion Tries for any length of time, you've heard me uh, say I really enjoy systems of this ilk. You know, I, I enjoy shuffling papers around a table in a digital environment. Papers, please. Not for broadcast. Uh, stuff along those lines. Cooks are delicious, even. Oh. Don't worry about it. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who are helpful against the troubles. Two humans have to die. So you're in the maybe. I'm trying to see who's helping against the troubles. Fraud CEO. That's an easy one. Self-prescribed chemist. Nothing wrong with that necessarily. Smuggler. I am putting some moral judgments in here. I'm willing to... I'm willing to let you know. State official. Who is not above using treachery, deception, and even murder. Every, you just seem... Based on what I read there, you just seem bad at your job. So guess what? All of you get to live. We only needed to kill two humans today. We killed three. I didn't want to be accused of playing favorites. <laughs> my my apologies uh, but the the extra dude we tossed in there he did seem like kind of a scumbag welcome grim i think i've managed to follow the rules i see more people died than required them's the breaks so well now where did i begin? okay here we go your conduct, your conduct has been most excellent so much so we got a raise thank oh. you speaking of the raise the comes raise with a prize. You can display the award of excellency in your workstation. Your Alright. You have passed. Alright, we'll do one more day to see what it's like. But I like this so far. Um, it does... Excuse me, I don't get paid on the... On Sunday, I don't get paid. Uh, I like it. It does seem a little rudimentary. But I'm okay with that. Like, I mean, as as compared to, like, Papers, Please, it doesn't have as many layers, I guess, is what I'm saying. Spare any humans with a religious background. Three humans have to die. Spare any humans with a religious background. So we'll start there. Pilgrim. Um, today's your lucky day. Also, you're 30 years old, brother? What happened? Some people just go gray faster. Some people go bald instead. All right, you get to live though, congratulations. You know what, you, you live, welcome to the live drawer. Stay at home parent. They've agreed to become a surrogate. 
for a same-sex couple, another perk is they can play World of Warcraft at any free moment. Mercury Saint Ioannis. Motiv motivational speaker. Oh, excuse me, sir? It's me! A 66-year-old engineer called Masashige Onilanzo. <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, come on. That's me in two years, so we'll save ourselves. Get in the live drawer. Three humans have to die, is that correct? Three humans have to die. Well, really sorry about this one. You seem like nice people, but uh, them's the breaks. Let's see how we did today. Oh, I don't know. That, that dissolve transition made me feel a little weird. Maybe I finally realized the weight of my job. Grim. Ah, great. Great work. Forever. Oh, an emergency. Yes. Straight. Even though you passed the event. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports okay. as usual. Why? We report to the cat now every day. Understood. Apparently, the day went pretty well. All right, well, that's going to do it. it. It was a little samey, I'll admit. I think if you're watching this, you're going to be like, you're kind of just doing the same thing day in and day out. But I almost wonder if uh, there isn't a little bit more room for silliness if you start to break the rules. They might not have designed the game around somebody who loves to follow the rules as much as I do. It's a fault, but it's also a blessing. Um, this is Death and Taxes. Again, the code was provided by the developer and the publisher, so I thank them for that and disclose that to you. But I really like the systems at play in this game. I, I, I think it's got a dry wit that it resonates with me. And on top of that, I'm just a sucker for, for this the kind of systems. Like I hate bureaucracy and paperwork in real life, but in video games, comparing a document to like a, a passport or something like that, or a person's profile, I'm like, ooh, chef's kiss. Anyway. For now, thanks for watching. It's available on Steam. I'll put a link to the Steam uh, store page in the video description for Death and Taxes. If you enjoyed the game, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!